good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are myself sri dasha maheshwari your faculty for management account welcome welcome to the second revision shots so in this particular shot what we are going to talk about we are going to talk about material price variance it's a very simple and a very easy concept first let's talk about from which particular chapter it is it is from the chapter standard costing okay in that particular chapter we have a variance named as material price variance so as you know that within 5 nets we are going to do a quick revision of this particular variance so without wasting any minute let so guys material price variance first of all what this variance teaches us so this variance teaches or you know gives a idea that what is a difference between your standard rate for purchasing a material and your actual rate which you have paid for you know purchasing in that material so let's suppose your standard rate when you budgeted you know everything at that particular point in time you decided that i will be buying 1 kg of raw material x at the rate let's say 10 So this is this ten dollar is your standard rate, and eventually the actual purchase price comes up at let's say eleven dollar. So the difference of this ten and eleven dollar, that's a one dollar difference. That is what that is a variance. Now in this particular scenario, this variance is adverse because we have planned for less amount. We have we we plan that we are going to purchase it at ten dollars, but we eventually purchase at what we eventually purchase at eleven dollar. So one dollar we paid extra. so that's why this variance is going to come adverse and now once we know that this particular variance is adverse what we are going to do we will be putting you know looking for other options in a way that we can purchase the material at the you know the rate which we have budgeted that is at $10 and we will be looking for the reasons that why we are not able to purchase material at you know $10 rate and we have to whether we have done a, a bad negotiation or because of inflation now that $10 thing is coming at $11 so it's out of our control what is the reason basically that is basically where we are going to work upon so basically now we know the concept of material price variance it give us a variance variance means a difference between my standard rate and the my actual rate and if i talk about the formula formula is very simple standard rate minus actual rate so within the bracket there will be standard rate minus actual rate and outside the bracket we will be multiplying it with what with the actual you know material which we have purchased that is the actual material purchase or the actual quantity so that's how we calculate the material price variance i'm repeating the formula once again for you guys bracket standard rate minus actual rate bracket close multiplying it with the actual quantity and that's going to give me what that's going to give me a material price variance if it is adverse not good for the organization they have to rework they have to see what is the reasons and if it is favorable when will it will be favorable when you have procured the material at a lesser price in comparison to what you have budgeted whatever the standard price you have settled down for so let's say your standard price was uh, Ten dollar, and eventually procured at nine dollar. In that particular scenario, it's going to come at favorable. That means it's good for the organization. Your performance is good in that particular case. So now we understood what a the formula of material price variance, the concept behind it, and if it's coming adverse, what we have to do, and if it is coming favorable, then what we have to do. So for this particular shot, we have revised material price variance. I will be seeing you in the next revision shot. Till then, this is Sri Dasha Maheshwari signing off.